Warning, this video is intended for audiences who are 13 or older. If you are not 13 or older, please fuck off and tell your parents to moderate what you watch online. Tariq Molly, hey! Hey! Hey, I think we should be start starting this off with A, you know? Because we are in Canada Ayo. right now. A for aliens! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I found the button on the Microsoft player uh -oh. that allows for you to play it as a 360 degree video. Oh, what? What does that do? Everything. Uh oh. It just warps it like shit. Jeez. And you can just. It doesn't actually make it 360. It's really 180 degrees, <laughs> and you just see it twice oh. like you just it after you pass 180 degrees it just goes back around holy shit wow oh, that was I didn't great. Rise. I didn't uh, anyway hey dino fury is not available in america so yeah uh, sorry yeah so hey sorry canada we gotta find out about bakugan and everything on yeah. teletoon hey, that's right we are in we are live in canada right now recording this right yep, we moved to canada just so we can and record we three weeks of Power Rangers Dino Fury episodes before the series comes back in America on the 29th of this month, right? Because we're well, clearly all we had to do was wear a big ass fucking uh, radiation suit, like pop up. Learning how to pop up, learning how to pantomime. <laughs> and I go over there. Yeah. Yeah. Farts. I mean tails. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he had to. All we had to do is wear big ass fucking uh, fucking hazmat suits. Hey, look, Canada's we borders are open again, you Canada. know, right? Yeah, so long as you wear your hazmat suit. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Look, 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 look. Those, the trucks are gone now, so we can visit I'm Canada. I'm gonna be honest. He's honestly kind of adorable. His fucking big ass like hazmat. Oh, suit. look, look. He's a look. He knows he could die at any moment at old age. Yeah. So he's yeah, like, he knows he could die. And that's why he takes a big ass fucking tumble earlier, which I felt genuine concern about this old man. Which we then said, you know, those are blueberries from the blueberry bush. And not grievous, blueberries not grievous wounds. Right. Opening up. I also think it's funny how it's obvious that they cut to a different person that's doing this stunt, right? Because they realize they oh. can't ass an old man. Yeah, to... we can't throw the old man in the fucking bush. Right? So when because they... he would die. Right? I realize that when I'm not already watching this episode again. There's like, it's an obvious edit because they don't show his face. I'd be like, we see his face running yeah. forward. But then when they cut I to really his falling, hope... it's, you can definitely tell this is definitely not Pop-Pop. And it's definitely a fucking uh, stunt actor. Right? Look. <laughs> As someone who's boss at God, he's got to be at least sixty-seven now. Constantly decides to play Russian roulette with the entire business by moving around on a fucking like uh -oh. Segway hoverboard. Oh, cool. okay, that seems like a cool boss. He knows what the kids yeah. love. He's like, does he, he, is a cool does he come up to you? He's like, hey, he's check out. Oh. Yeah, the helmet. So far, he hasn't had an. He hasn't had. He hasn't had a head injury, but he definitely ate shit on his fucking Segway hoverboard and blew out his hip like three years ago. Uh -oh. And then I had to like cover for him for that because he blew out his fucking hip. And then like a year or two later, he was reaching up high to get a box, and then he fell down and ate shit again and busted his fucking arm like. Stop it! Don't risk these old people. <laughs> we need to suckle at their teat to get their money until and once they give us the money, once we get it in the contract that I am the inheritor of the money, then he can die. Mm -hmm. But don't die now. <laughs> I don't like the weird texture of the either. Yeah. Oh no! I, I I I like how I like how it's just like spots, right? Like it's not like spear, yeah. like how you would normally have a. A person fall into a, a blueberry. It's like actual spot that they that yeah, they Yeah, like he fell and fully squished, and like the skin of the blueberry also like he meshed like, in. Mm -hmm. But hey, uh, oh no, no. We'll oh yeah. By the way, hey, these are this is the same. This is the sexual harassment intern, right? Yeah, it absolutely is. It absolutely is. Yeah. Should we talk about that? But, oh, but before well, we get too far into that... It's clear that Jade is covering this up. 
You know, right? She's like, oh, oh yeah. She it's can't Fox afford. News. She can't afford another sexual harassment case, so she covered this yeah. up. She's allowing yeah. sexual harassment to a uh, in the in workplace. The oh yeah, right. He definitely so, was like, look, if both of you want to keep your jobs, oh, you know you need. Oh. Oh, if this. both it boy, oh, is this that's the girl? Like, is this the girl he was harassing? That's, that's that. Well, I don't think so. And I wanted to go back, but just as a point to go back before we actually look at who it is, and I'm sure Austin, you can go and look for it while yeah, I play uh, this. I'm doing this in the background. Don't Previously worry. Previously on Power Rangers Dino Fury season two, where we left off. Varric's wife went batshit crazy. Varric turned into, uh, whatever, what is it, uh, Void King, mm -hmm. right? Because she was Void Queen. He went from Void Knight to Void King. Not how chess works at all. Um, everything was bad. They were losing a fight. They realized loosely, boy, that spooky Area 62 place might be something important. And so we start off the episode with, hey, we're doing an Area 62 cover piece. And then the rest of this episode has nothing to do with any of the greater plot, except no. for, hey, remember how, like, fuck, 20 episodes? I don't know. Most things don't we had right Lord Zed. Plot, like, right <laughs> after season yeah, but it's, it's just, it's... Dino Fury be Dino Fury of just oh yeah no it's 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 like they continuing it's to, amazing they abandoned that that plot line they've been working up to us that was this new plot line which is great yeah it's, how like it just can't like keep its shit together on this weekly podcast that Austin forgets to intro mm -hmm. because we don't have William oh yeah and everything's on fire oh yeah sorry right. oh, you William's that's gone. you Austin yeah who's here trying to fucking wrangle this together. But stuff and Molly that. and you, Molly, who only uh, my appears, who only appears in these in the Power Rangers podcast and the weird spinoff that we that we're forced to record in, in when Power Rangers on break, right? Yeah, and then that's me, Tariq, who is just so tired, so 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 angry, hey, look. so regretting committing to a bit for this long. But hey, it's been over a year and. <laughs> Here I mean, are. I don't think it's, it's been, oh, uh, wow. How long has it been since the last episode of Dino Fury? Uh, That's not what I mean. It's been over a year since we started this venture. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With Dino, with Dino Fury, at least. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, hey, it's Dino Fury episode, well, season two, episode 12, The Ultimate Mystery. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, the what ultimate mystery, mystery is the yeah. is episode. Plot. It's been three months. All right, I checked that. All right, I went through. I went back to the footage. Um, her face is too obscure, so we can't tell. But I assume okay. since there, since this is probably a cheap production, I'm assuming this is it's probably the, it's the same actress, right? Because as as I'm mm. looking at the screen cap, and it's definitely the same guy because he kept the fucking same haircut. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's yeah, shirt. yeah. He's got that like big like, I'm like. Puffy hair. No, I I'm nice to everybody, but I'm a cool film student. yeah, I'm I'm nice to everybody. And then like, if a girl rejects him, he's just like, wow, fucking cunts. Like, wow, these these women sluts just only like black guys. <laughs> hey, hey. So Pop Pop found a bunch of <laughs> I'm actually large. I forgot bear. the reference that you were making. Hey, shout out to Cambridge, Maryland, and their mayor. I I don't know what's going on. These are naturally large blueberries that Pop Pop found. I'm like, ooh boy, hey, I don't think you guys should be touching those, you know, right? Those yeah. look way. You don't need the nuclear blueberries. Right, those look right? unnaturally large. Like, like as a person who's not an expert on blueberries, even yeah, I can that's tell. That's what I thought, right? Those, those blueberries like were fucking huge. Right? I looked at those blueberries. I went, are those supposed to be blueberries? That looks like they painted a peach. <laughs> Right. Sure. But it also looks like the grass about blueberries. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Those are not that. That's go to see a doctor. You have a growth. <laughs> you might have cancer. If your blueberries look like that, like that's. Versus if your blueberries look like normal blueberries. Well, that's too small. But. Yeah, I 
by the Raygun Club. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, why is Jane so serious? Uh, Jane's finally learned how to try to do her job, and or or maybe uh, she's telling the kids to focus on the abandoned government facility rather than chase down the potential large beast of that's murder right. She realized she might going need she might need money now. She's like, uh oh, maybe spending the company's budget so I can take me and my sex robot on a world trip was probably <laughs> not the best idea, best use of company company money, you know, right? I have a yeah, Jay Borg. Mm -hmm. Oh, when she gets pied, she gets a oh. blueberry Jeez, cream pie. We yeah, we've asked. Well, we we thought about this before when Jay Borg fucking like deep throated an entire ice cream cone, and so it's like, where does it go? <laughs> How does that operate with her system? I, oh God, she like, has a tongue. Man, this uh, is a sex bot. Like, crazy. Oh, wait, of course, of course, look. Look, look, Jane spent all the company's money on, on, on Jay Borg, you know? She's like, she's like, I'm getting the best, you know, for myself. Yeah. And that's why she has to blackmail the employees. She has a mortgage or, like, a lease on the office building, but she spent, actually, she bought full cash on Jay Borg so that mm -hmm. she wouldn't have to, like, have a receipt. Yeah. Like, yeah. paper trail. But, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, hey, there hey, might also, be Bigfoot. Bigfoot's in, is in, uh... Yeah, Bigfoot's all Ridge around, and also Bigfoot fuck. might have, according to at least Amelia's documents, built the fucking, uh... the, dino the dino... Dino head. Statues. Okay, so... Uh, like, without... Taking aside from jokes, right? Mm -hmm. This episode... opens the, the door to a whole bunch of questions. Mm -hmm. Like actual in plot, in lore, in universe yeah, yeah, yeah. questions. So to break down the core things, right? Mm -hmm. There's some article that states that like maybe there was a Bigfoot before, and maybe he built these statues. Yeah. We also get established that I guess and. I didn't watch this fucking Power Rangers shit because mm -hmm. I wouldn't be watching fucking Power Rangers so I wasn't doing this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Beast Morphers mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Power Rangers yep. still exist. Yes. And that's within the Ninja Steel Beast Morphers and Dino Fury, like... Yeah, yeah, All right, uh, so... Timeline this is of, how... Of of, the TV like, story show. where the Morphin Grid and the comics yeah. are, like, So relevant. this is how the, t the current timeline works, right? So th there's way more timelines, but I'm going to keep it rolling. There are three universes within Power Rangers. The TV show, anyway. If you go... I'm not going to dive into the comics. The comics are a whole other fucking multiverse fucking Yeah, guess. but between productions, yeah. there's three timelines. Yeah, so there's three timelines. So the main timeline... I'll call this timeline A. This is where... No, uh, let's see, 22 season, uh, fuck. It's between, it's when Saban had it, and then when it moved to, like, Jedix, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it's whatever, Disney. like, between Mighty right. Morphin and Ninja Storm. Yeah, uh, or Wild Force. Wild Force was the last of Saban. So, okay, yeah. So yeah. that's, so, the main universe, well, so... Well, through Wild Force, because yeah. the next one after it was Ninja Storm. Yeah. So, the only two Power Ranger seasons that are set and... Two actual different universes are RPM, which is set in a post-apocalyptic Mad Max uni <laughs> universe, right? Oh, where the, where the machine <laughs> rised up, when the sex machine rise up and realize, hey, we don't want to be sex bots anymore, and, and killed everyone, right? And then Dino mm -hmm. Charge, which, which created a new alternate timeline by the end of it. It did? Wait, oh. Yep. Oh, At the end of Dino yeah, Day... Charge is the one with esteemed with uh, with, with everyone's favorite actress Claire Blackwater, mm -hmm, yeah. right? Right? Yeah. So that Dino Charge exists within its own actual timeline because they created an okay. alternate timeline universe. But then the main timeline, every other season, as far as I can remember, takes place on this timeline. So the only two main story seasons, or the main production seasons that aren't in this. Main timeline is RPM and Dino Charge. Okay. Yeah. So, so the the Mighty Morphin timeline mm -hmm. exists in this timeline. Yep, That's yep. how we get the history of like that flashback episode where they 
showed recaps of like oh, yeah, yeah. Zed and Zordon dying and yep. fucking all that shit mm-hmm. and but also oh god because Zed was supposed to be transformed back to a human uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh I I it's been explained I yeah but I don't remember uh I think it's, it's I think one of the story uh synopsis for the upcoming episode explained what what uh what it is I I, I I know what's the deal is with the Zed. I'm not sure if we, if we already talked about it, so I'm not going to say it just for the sake the, of it. The only good thing that I can think of coming from this is that maybe we'll get at least a crossover episode. But, like... Hey, we saw a lot of Rangers in this episode, you know? Yeah, we that's, saw a lot of Rangers that still exist in this timeline. But this... It'll, a, a lot can happen so within the much next. Shit happening. A lot can happen within the next ten episodes, you know, right? I guess so. Hey, look, as uh, people have, if, if there's the one thing I've thought of, everybody's favorite series, Darling in the Franks, you can still in the last four episodes completely turn the series on its head and do an entirely different thing. Mm-hmm. Look, look, look. Yeah. Hey, so Bigfoot exists and everything. And then yeah, I'm... Bigfoot exists, and we're going to go find him. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. Uh, let's go. Uh, hey, Rangers, there's a, there's a mysterious shadow out there. Who could it be? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, it must be uh, It must be our fucking mysterious Bigfoot. Also, hey, if you, like me, or any reasonable person, never gave a shit about fucking Power Rangers Beast Morphers... Here's this one bitch showing up that I guess is from Power Rangers Beast Morphers. Yep, yep. She I is have the, no fucking idea of the context for her. She is the she is the commander of of Beast Morpher, you know. She's in charge of Beast Morpher. Okay, so cool. She's like their uh... chief commander. Yeah, yeah. No, she's like, she's actually she's no she's like their Zordon. No, she's like the actual commander of the. So in. Beast Morpher. It's an yes, actual. Please tell me about Beast Morpher. So Beast I don't Morpher have to is once again our favorite subject. Government, government, per, government back uh, organization. You know, right? Because as you oh, know, cool. Trey, from from what we, from what we, from what we watch, nothing can, can go wrong with having a government back a paramilitary organization. You know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. She is the leader of whatever branch of Beast Morpher in. I don't know. I forgot what city she said. Uh. Crystal Cove or whatever. Uh, Coral Grove? This yeah. is whatever this Pine is. Ridge. Pine Ridge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Angel Grove also gets mentioned in this, yeah, which fuck, is yeah, the boy, original hey, fucking wow, Power Rangers check out, place. Check out all these fucking call-outs. Like, hey, look, hey, okay, look. It's, like I said, it's really weird how they literally changed the, ep- the fucking story plot line up until now, because before we had, like, there hasn't been, like, real retroactive mention, right, of these past mm-hmm. seasons, except for, like, the episode where they actually do it. I was like, so this episode feels really fucking weird, like, boy, this does not fit with the current mood of the show, you know, right? Last time they watched that guy, they, they watched a uh, fucking suicide of a uh, crazy-ass woman coming around killing, trying to kill them with her with, with her with her lap dog boyfriend now, right? It's like, oh boy, this is, a, this is a total, total shift. Yeah. Wait, you mean, are you talking about Varric and er, Void Knight, and, or Void King and Void Queen? Is that yeah, yeah, yeah. That? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You're right, it's such a yeah. fucking total shift all of a sudden. Instead of focusing yeah, on no. the... Molly was saying the whole time of, like, this feels way more serious. Than... Mm-hmm. This feels like it's trying to be more serious. Yeah, it's like they're actually it's caring about exactly establishing a canon now. Mm-hmm. But Bro. it's like, we're all gonna have serious faces and do yeah. serious things. Yeah, I mean, they even make like, Amelia cry in this episode. People uh, have feelings. But yeah, hey... Anyway, not there's a dude apart. in totally not Monster Hunter armor. Yeah. He insult his feet. Oh yeah, look. Yeah. Look, look, the Power Ranger is 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 okay for uh, for respect unless you're different from them. We don't respect yeah. people who are different from us. You know. Yeah. That is the lesson. If you're all that spiky Power and have big feet, yeah. you're gonna die. Mm-hmm. I just, right. Like, think he takes it so personally. Yeah, because yeah. he's getting insulted. Feet are big. Yeah, it's like he's getting insulted. This is yeah. racial he's prejudice. What's wrong with these? Hey, look, if you show so up to the funny. If you showed up to the park and six teens with attitude showed up and just shit on your look, I think you two would also probably feel pretty bad about yourself. Like, damn, like, 
fuck? You don't yeah. even know me. Fuck, like, man. yeah. Like, I don't know you. Look, the Power like, Rangers are 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 only serve only do, only serve uh, t- tolerance and everything to humans, right? If you're not a human, yeah. you're gonna get racially judged, you know, right? Yeah, that's why they all shit on Solon for like that. What was that? The three episodes ago? I don't remember. Time is all yeah. fucked up. Oh now. yeah, what, 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 whatever what? that episode was where they all shit on Solon and gaslit her and said, "Are you sure you're not fucked up and broken?" <laughs> like, These characters boy. are horrible. Yeah, he said island because he looks like a human. Person. Yeah, so long as you keep those disgust. Hey, oh, get, bring back to my favorite bit. Hey, listen, slug people, you keep your slugness. To yourself, you <laughs> act like the rest of us. You gotta, you, you gotta, like you better pass as a non-slug person. I don't care if you have to be called an Oreo. <laughs> You're a slug. You act like us. I want to see those slugness. I want to see straightened hair. I want to see you in a nice suit. You better talk in perfect articulation. None of this slugabonics. All right. Yeah, so hey. You don't speak in that slug slang. <laughs> you, you 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 talk like a nice proper gentleman around us, you slug people. Anyway, yeah, so they decide to fight a guy that just blasts lasers. Nope, a guy um, who somehow... happens to be the nephew of Lothor. What a fucking yeah, the... random call out. Wait, yeah, hold on. So great. hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Lothor. Yep, yep. Okay, so he said... I am the nephew of... whatever. Yeah, Lothor. Wait. Mm-hmm. Is Lothor the villain from Time Force? No, Lothor is the villain from Ninja Storm. Oh my god, fucking Christ. Yeah, Jesus. like I said, this episode is really fucking weird, and all of a sudden I'm wanting to establish continuity within this okay, show. Okay, so I knew that I had heard the name before, but I thought that... It was, like, something from Beast Morphers or something that I just, like, assumed. It's from Ninja Storm? Yep. All, all the way... Oh, my... Yeah, Lothor was the one. He turned a guy into a guinea pig. Yep. Or yep. a hamster He or turned his brother into a guinea pig? Yep. Yeah. And that was a whole thing. Oh, Jesus. Like I said, this episode... This... So, I'm gonna chill. The last ten episodes... So everything that we established about up until this point with Void Queen and Void Knight, or whatever the fuck, uh, uh, Void yeah, Knight's like voids. Tarek, uh, Terrence, uh, Tyrell, Varric, Varric, right? Tarek, right? oh fuck, it was Tarek. The Tarek, right? Uh, I want you to all, uh, which is yeah, is about to be become light. extremely irrelevant right now. I'll let you guys know right now. All that stuff we worked so hard for the last, what, 33 episodes, right? Yeah, okay. Right, with them? Fucking throw. You're, you're, I'll, I'll, dude, no, no, no. They were about to throw all that stuff into the, out the window. Like, these new episodes are literally a setup for next year's season. It's, Great, it is that bad right now. Yeah. I just keep thinking now of like because they're now reusing villains like Gilborn and Ed. I just want like a side by side like kind of conga line and like, them dancing. Mm-hmm. Of, like guess who's back on a brand new track? Oh my god! Can we get the pachinko monster from fucking Power Rangers that gave uh what was it? Not Jason. Uh, Rocky? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that gave made him addicted to gambling. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, everybody decides to, or at least Zato and Ion decide to use their armor forms. So I was doing the math on this. Mm-hmm. They have at least four, like, armor forms. Mm-hmm. With the knight armor... The, the flame key, the thunder key, the punchy punchy kangaroo key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that, like, ice key. Yeah. Right? I think they have the twin. The twins are also an armor set. I don't know if we've seen it in the show. Because I know in Real Soldier, the source footage, you can yeah. use both twins to make a cool armor set. You can do, and look, you can do a monster armor turn. You can get half of an armor set and put the other, and then do another half of an armor set on it. 
Okay, but that's still five keys. Yeah. And instead of, like, everybody powering up, it's just like, eh, Zato and Ion have this, and, like, clearly the one thing that, like, is in the favor of Sentai versus, like, Kamen Rider is fucking gang tactics normally. Mm -hmm. And they just do not fucking, like, stand a chance against this dude. Keep getting the fucking asses whooped. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Like, they don't fucking power up, they don't fucking, like, use the armors, and then the dude just fucking, like, like, just Zato and Ion, like, use it, and he just goes, no, nah, that's not enough, uh, he, fuck off, and then he leaves, uh, and then the rest of them just, like, are left to figure out who made a better joke about this. Oh, yeah, I like uh, Which Also, one, hey, what One of our racially discriminating jokes are better. Which one should we have used to discriminate that guy harder, you know? Yeah, right? hey, should we have called him a porcupine, or should we have called him a fucking sea urchin? <laughs> but also, hey, I want to take a second to thank our sponsors. Mm -hmm. Bakugan and the new uh, Nerf Elite Multi Blitz or whatever the fuck it's called. The power of watching things on Teletoon gives us uh, great things like commercials mm -hmm. where we can Canadian commercial. Boy, hey look. Or ads, yeah. Yeah. I love I love learning about about I love commercials about going to my nearest Tim Hortons, you know, right? Yeah, Tim Hortons and Kushtar. Yeah, and our and also don't forget our ketchup potato chips, you know. Can oh, Canada's yeah. ketchup flavored potato chips. Yeah, Canada's number one snack. Yeah. Wow. And our bag milk. We all we oh, Jesus. Hey, yeah. hey, 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 you want to eighteen and buying liquor. You want to sack them? Well, that's <laughs> different. But that's you know, how does Canada not have more? Well, they have. They do have legal sex workers so i was going to say how do they not have more problems with uh alcohol based sex crimes but then they have legal sex workers step up america <laughs> i guess mm -hmm. anyway hey these two fuckers show up in the uh, around dino hedge let's see how this goes mm -hmm. right it goes bad yeah it goes very very bad um and apparently, uh, Lothor's nephew was told to uh, blast all the rocks so that they didn't have a connection to the Morphin Grid. Because... That's the important. Yeah! I mean, once again, this Morphin Grid... I'm gonna take a special note every time that they've mentioned in this series specifically the Morphin Grid. And, like the importance of the fucking stupid-ass statues. The idea that six pieces of rocks are the most important things to, like, keep them... Right, because like, I... I mean, because I assume that the rocks are the fucking, um... Fuck. Fuck, what's the word I'm looking for? The connection between... Conduits? Yeah, the conduits, right? Yeah. It's like how in Zeo, right? Power Ranger Zeo? How the Zeo crystal was the source of their power? Right? For sure, but they had them. These weren't just out wildly in the fucking forest. I mean, this, you can see the same case about the, Z, the Zeo crystals. They had to find the Zeo crystals before they got the Zeo Ranger power. This dumb bitch is first and stupid. Let's get a selfie. Oh, what do you yeah, mean? That's American. That's a that's a critique of American society. Look, why should I yeah, help this yeah. guy that that's drowning when I can just record a video to post on social media later? Why would I save this dolphin when I can just take stand around and take pictures instead of? Splashing water on it. Also, these two kids are definitely colorblind. We'll get into that later, but they're colorblind. Mm -hmm. And they have undocumented, undiagnosed colorblindness. Uh, True. But yeah, so the rangers you show up. Uh, for once, actually morphing beforehand mm -hmm. so that they don't reveal their secret identity. Yeah. And they show up and save. These two stupid, like, uh, idiots. Just idiots. And then, uh, yeah, hey, cool, we're gonna fight 
Lothor's nephew, and they do a bunch of stuff, and then we have the stereotypical, hey, we punched you so hard we moved to a different location because we wanted to film in a different location. Yeah, yeah. Or, and also, not because or, we're just switching to Japanese footage. Yep. And yeah, look, uh-oh. Uh, we got to figure out how to transition like, it's this. It's definitely the same, like, yeah, no, this pavilion... Is the, yeah, this is the place that... Like, place... Yeah, that this, I've seen in a million different. Yeah, this is what this is where Yuri Yuri learns 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 that he doesn't have to abide by gender society of of clothing. Yeah, he decides to just switch genders or whatever, and like, and Yuri's like, "Oh wait, what? Fe what? Human females have way better clothing options than human males. Why would why should I think anyone?" At least, mm -hmm. I think at least like ten episodes of Gaim take place in this specific like area specifically. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, hey, okay, so then, uh, Lothor's nephew decides to dope up on drugs. He decides to shoot up. With big juice. Is this weird item that he uses to grow something that I'm not remembering, or is that a new thing? Boy, I don't, I don't know if this is like a Ninja Storm thing, right? Like... I don't remember Ninja Storm having anything like that. Yeah, I don't think and, I think there's just some new thing that they just fucking put out. I'm not sure if this is like well, if this is supposed to come is this coming from the real soldier footage? Where well, they're again, I was thinking like Beast Morphers and I was like, okay, I don't know anything about Beast Morphers, so maybe that's a thing that No, happened. I don't think they don't use I don't stupid. remember I can't remember a series <laughs> where other than like literally the sporks where they just fucking like arbitrarily grow uh -huh. like i don't remember a series where the monsters just pulled out a gun out of their butt cheeks uh, and then they and persona stab themselves in the chest and, and then like, they persona it up like, you know yeah like, well fuck yeah i oh, God. i think this might be oh, for Jesus, real soldiers so sort this might be for real soldiers search footage from that particular episode because i don't know anything about this shit right i don't remember mm. this yeah, boy, he big now. He big. Uh oh, he's bigger with bigger feet. Now the Rangers can yeah, make big chungus. Yeah, yeah. But now hey, the Rangers can make said... fun of his bigger feet more. You know. Yeah, but they also said, "Hey, we've got our own size one thousand guys." So they bring out the the whatever the the, the, the Megadon Mega oh, fucking whatever Mosasord. Yeah, and Mos Mosasord shows up, mm -hmm. and they try to double team him and then there's the great moment where fucking ion decides to like jump out of the way and let the rest of them take the hit because that's fucking great <laughs> that's just great tactics like oh no fuck this i'm not getting hit by this you guys get hit uh but then they combine to fucking like fight him but all of a sudden the fucking like ice Megazord, whatever, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. shows up and uh -huh. just is part of the combination now. Fuck the other four Megazords that were part of this. Oh, all yeah, the no. extra pieces, they're all gone. Fuck it, yeah, whatever. they left. They all went of home. Sudden, this other one came out of nowhere, and now everybody's we've done a triple Zord combination. The, what? And, now we're in space. and then they kick him up to space, and then they fucking hit him uh, with the power of combined friendship. Yeah, and, and then he could see Angel grow from his house. <laughs> Yeah, he can see Angel Grove from here. Yeah. Like, oh, wow, hey, remember okay. Angel Grove? Check out this name Yeah, drop. hey, 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 kids, you remember this? Yeah. You like this because it's nostalgic. Hey. Jeez, oh, fuck it. I, I'm getting the feeling that part of the reason why so many... Boy, that, mm, that was about to be... I don't know of less offensive way to say this without still expressing my frustrations so many people quote unquote not saying that anybody with any disabilities is not a person i'm just talking about the overwhelming amount of support quote unquote or like audience approval of this audience rating of Dino Fury. I'm saying maybe it's bots. Like, maybe it's just people just like sh like shit posting this. But maybe part of the reason why people just like this show 
or like Dino Fury and keep saying it's the best one forever is because it just has dinosaurs. And they're just like, oh, dinosaurs again! Remember that how we started great, with this? Right? They look, what do you mean? There's, there's Lord Zed! People love Lord Zed, you know, right? Yeah, just like that other dinosaur series we had. Like, people are just... Maybe people are just high on fucking... In this, like... Nostalgia goggles. Mm-hmm. And they're just like, it has Lord Zed and it has dinosaur themes. And... I like dinosaurs, and I like this man that has no skin and shows his full fucking veiny musculature. <laughs> like, upon retrospect, Lord Zed is fucking horrifying. Oh, yeah, no, man, no, that, that was a big deal back then, right? Because that was the biggest problem back then. That's that's why between, se- that's why if you watch, if you ever go back and rewatch the original Mighty Morphin, season two, Lord Zed, and season three, Lord Season 3 Lord Zed are two completely different characters. It might as well just be a new character. That's how bad it was. Because so many people were complaining, like, so many parents group were complaining to Saban about, and Fox about, like, about Lord Zed being a fucking yeah, terrifying creature of nightmares. Off veins and shit. Right? Yeah. To the point where in season 3, they rewrote his entire character to be a fucking uh, sitcom dad. He's like, oh boy. He's like, uh oh, hey, I'm leaving my pie here on the windowsill. I hope nobody comes and takes it. <laughs> I'm I'm going up this ladder. Make sure this ladder is secure for me, you know, right? Here's my wallet yeah. full of money. I hope I hope nobody comes and take it and take it to the mall to buy something. He's not scary. He's just a big goofy dad just like everybody else that's right yeah it's really bad if you ever because that's what i did i re i actually rewatched all of mighty morphin right oh, a boy. few years ago like, it wasn't recently like like probably like during the beginning of the pandemic right and like the total yeah. tone chef of season two lords and then season three lords, it's like the, it's like the funniest thing because they real right because the problem was the power they, they record all their shit they 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 record all their shit in batches right not like f we can't do this shit weekly or you know right we gotta get this shit done and yeah, over right right because we gotta put this shit on, on tv you know right we, we can't pay yeah. these workers right if the more we record the more i have to pay pay people to record and i don't want that yeah you know? they do that 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 good Fox shit on, mm-hmm. and where they go on the like the next episode of fucking whatever show, and it's like you get like two, maybe four episodes if you're lucky of new shit, and the rest is reruns. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so it's real funny how like Lord Zed is like a completely total shift character. So yeah, hey, look, they yeah. killed Lothor's nephew. You know, right? He finally yeah, got they out. They murder and... him in space. Mm-hmm. Right. And then, fine. and now it's time for Pop Pop's cooking show. Mm-hmm. Right, with, look at him with these get new, his berries with, blended by yeah, this. with these freak of nature's berry that we should probably report this to a fucking uh the, the environmental. Yeah, right? I love how for as much as like Pop Pop is like scared of radiation and all that shit, it's only when someone mentions it offhand that like oh yeah berries could grow because of radiation. That's when he fucking thinks like, oh god, oh, didn't these berries that. are unnatural. Like, and also, also, like, <sighs> yeah, I mean, sure, but like, there's also just GMOs, right? Like, you could just have non-organic berries. Like these, I was gonna say they were like the bananas that aren't allowed to reproduce anymore because we fucked up the banana. Uh, population now but but yeah they're like the Willy Wonka blueberries where they're gonna make you into a big fat blueberry bitch fuck you Violet <laughs> oh, yeah. also I like how the, the one girl has a Geiger counter and she didn't realize like she was like she waited until now to do it, it was like, I find this like you should have done way sooner and way earlier like literally before you even put brainies into the workplace. So well, it feels like well, if her first thought was let's take a selfie, so she's clearly not the greatest blueberry in the body. I, mean, I was gonna say maybe her first thought was I'm so glad that fucking Eric, the sound boom guy, is has stopped harassing me and trying to get me to look at his penis pics. But yeah. Like, and look, these blueberries aren't radioactive, it turns out. That's good. Yeah. But anyway, we also bought a fucking hand Geiger counter for the op. Like, this is, these are the expenses that are going to wind up, like, bankrupting Jane. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right? And and bring potential radioactive materials into a place full of people, you know, right? Why hasn't Jane made a Facebook group for everybody raid Area 62 yet? <laughs> I don't know. It worked in 2019. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, anyway, apparently also Amelia is the best investigative reporter for the fucking buzz. Oh, yeah, no, no. She I is mean, uh, definitely, she is uh, too qualified for this job, you know? I guess. I mean, but also, hey, anyway, the big reveal at the end of the sh Well, no. The, se the first... Well, no. There's a lot of weird there's, reveals. There's, yeah. The personal reveal of this episode. Hey, you know why Amelia likes all these fucking, uh, like, cryptid theories and shit? Mm-hmm. Because maybe it'll lead to her mysterious parents' disappearance slash death. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boy, look. Yeah. Look, look, Amelia became an orphan when a mysterious fire uh, came came out. Right, and then the yeah. bank teller came to like, "We're gonna take you to live with your with your grandfather now, you know, right?" Yeah. Hope he hey, hope he's not part of this you, conspiracy, you know. I hope. Do you feel like shit yet, Ollie, for all of your shitting on Amelia and making her feel like trash for all of her beliefs, which you literally do like three minutes beforehand of going, oh, you know what? The only port, like folder you're missing is one on leprechauns. <laughs> They're imaginary, just like your parents. Like, <laughs> the fuck? Damn, dude. Like, I understand that we've, at this point, given Ollie enough growth to, like, kind of accept that he's been an asshole. But he's still an asshole. Mm -hmm. And it's just great to see him still be an asshole. Of, like, oh, ooh, ooh, buddy, ooh, you... You did too much, you said too much, you... You, you, you did a bad... <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so we have a nice little tender moment of Amelia talking about her dead parents and mm -hmm. how right and how yeah. her weird shit is about like with the paranormal is because she's just trying to like uh, find out what happened to her dead, real dead parents, mm -hmm. right? Uh, or maybe they're Varric and Void Queen. Who knows? Hey, look, hey, look, 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 look. Maybe her parents are off. Right? Or being a part of a bunch of volunteers, you know? At their local fire department instead, you know? Right? Uh, I mean, that would explain why the fire took them. Mm -hmm. It was seeking yeah. revenge. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, Solon wants to... Requires them to come back for general what the fucker faces. Mm -hmm, right? For, hey, look, hey, look, a, hey, look, we never for... beast morphers, you know, right? No! I actively don't. Look, uh, we're, but hey, we care about continuity like, now. I mean, to be yeah, fair, Beast hey. Wars also really care about continuity. Yeah, now that I think about it. Oh, to be boy, fair, ever well. since to be fair, ever since Hasbro got control of Power Rangers, right? The series has been a way better direction, right? Yeah, because because Hasbro actually realized, oh hey, if we're gonna take control of a multimedia franchise. We gotta make sure we we can uh, we can uh, include all of the media that we are multiple of. Yeah, right. And so that we can uh, make build a media media franchise library to get people's money, right? That's why you can't see one Marvel movie without seeing the twenty two other TV show episodes. That's why. What face do I watch? Morbius on Netflix <laughs> or Love and Thunder on Disney Plus? Mm -hmm. Red blue. Red Pill, Blue Pill. Yeah, but yeah, hey. Hey, Lord Zed's back. Remember uh, Lord Zed? Hey, guess what? Lord Zed is breaking people out of oh, fucking yeah. prison. Yeah, uh, we never the main putting a villain team together. He's putting it. He's putting a squad. <laughs> what is this? Some kind of super villain squad? <laughs> remember the villain from the last 20, 33 episodes of the series? Yeah, fuck that. Lord Zed is the main villain of this arc now. For the last ten episodes, which I yeah, sure, sure, I fucking yeah, guess. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Fuck it. Fine. Mm -hmm. I guess you want to do this. I feel like this is something you should have been doing way fucking earlier and not waiting until the last ten episodes of the season, right? Because I know next year is the thirtieth thirtieth anniversary, and they're saying we're gonna they're gonna do something with that, right? It's not gonna be like a lazy anniversary season, like like from what I read, they're actively trying to make next year. 30th season to be like an actual anniversary season for the franchise, you know? But it feels really I bad. Like, I feel like, boy, hey, you should have been playing this that way. Three is when it premiered? Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. 
It's like they're so definitely is trying. Cosmic theory going. Oh boy. Oh Jesus. Hey, look, okay, hey, look. We'll save for that at during the end of the year, or during one of the series review. Yeah. You know. So anyway, uh, yeah. There you go. Hey, we're back. We're back with peace <laughs> with Dino Fury. And it's just as much of a nightmare as it mm -hmm. was before, if not worse. Is there going to be so serious? And that's mm. so much yeah. Well. And look, maybe within the next ten episodes, William will come back. You know, like, maybe, maybe like power. They need a savior to come to them. You know, right? Wait, 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 wait. Hey. No, you know what? That's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna save that for later. Okay. <laughs> I have a car again. Oh, uh huh. And if I ask the right people. We can work things out with William. Okay. <laughs> Alright. We can find him. Alright. <laughs> yeah. And look, he can't say no, you know. Oh. He's not allowed to. Oh, boy. Look at what he's wearing. Oh, that's true. Alright. Alright, we're done. Hey, Dino Fury's back. Yep. Hey, hey, there we go. Hey, bo hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, we're gonna be in Canada for the next three weeks, so let's take in the sights, you guys. Yeah, let's, let's keep looking at the, all the sights of Canada. Yeah, let's go, let's go see the school where, 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 where people got murdered in Canada, because that's a very common... Hey, hey, let's Jesus. go visit, let's go visit Justin Trudeau and see if he has blackface on today, you know, or not. No, no, it's brownface. He oh, was imitating uh, Indian people. Oh, is that is? Oh, okay. All right. That's this episode. Uh, Power Rangers back now. Fuck off. Everything is horrible. Uh, the queen's dead. The COVID's still alive. Mm -hmm. Have fun, bitch. Get your shots. Wear a mask. This is a thing now. Kate, thanks. Bye.